Well, good morning. We reached midweek and here the last week of July. This is Wednesday, July 28th. Thank you for checking in with us for our morning check-in from E-Free Church. Now, yesterday in Philippians 3, we saw that our passion for Christ stems from a personal knowledge of Him. Today, as we continue in Philippians 3, we're going to see it also stems from a practical knowledge. Listen to Philippians chapter 3, verse 10 and 11. Paul says that I may know him, that's Christ, and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being conformed to his death in order that I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. Now, when it comes to a practical knowledge of Christ, it involves three things. Paul says, first of all, I want to know his person, that I may know him. And that word know there means to know by experience. I want to experience Christ. I want to have an intimate knowledge of who he is. And not only does Paul want to know his person, Paul secondly wants to know his power, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. And that again is know by experience his power. That's a power to serve him. That's a power over sin. Remember Acts 1.8? You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses, Jesus said. So a practical knowledge is knowing the person of Christ. It's knowing the power of Christ. But thirdly, it's also knowing the pain of Christ, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings. This is complete obedience to Christ in spite of the consequences it might bring. This is complete obedience to Christ in spite of the persecution that may come. And Paul says, this is my goal, to have a practical knowledge of Christ, to know his person, to know his power, to know his pain. By the way, it's interesting because remember that Jesus, he had 12 disciples, but there were three that was his inner, inner three, right? Peter, James, and John. And there were three times that Jesus took Peter, James, and John somewhere by themselves. And it kind of correlates with these three things. Remember, he took them to the Mount of Transfiguration and Peter, James, and John saw Jesus transfigured before him. That was seeing his person. And then you might also remember in Mark 5, they took, he took Peter, James, and John into a room where he raised Jairus' daughter from the dead. That was seeing his power. And then in Mark chapter 14, he took those three deeper into the garden where they saw him agonize in prayer and sweat drops of blood. That was knowing his pain. Peter, James, and John saw his person, his power, and his pain. And Paul said, that is my goal in life. I want to know by experience his person. Know by experience his power. Know by experience his pain. What a passion for living. I hope that's your passion today. Let me pray for you. So Father, may that be our passion today, to know the person of Christ by experience, to know the power of Christ by experience, and to even know the pain of Christ by his experience. May that be our passion today and every day. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you'll share this on your Facebook page. Now, tomorrow we're going to keep going. And we're going to see not only is there a need for passion by knowing the person of Christ, the power of Christ, the pain of Christ, there's also a need for progress. And we're going to see four steps we need to take for that to happen. So don't miss tomorrow morning's check-in. Have a great Wednesday.